You are listening to the Daily Homily for Magdala in the Holy Land. Your own nation and the chief priests handed you over to me. What have you done? Jesus answered, My kingdom does not belong to this world. If my kingdom did belong to this world, my attendants would be fighting to keep me from being handed over to the Jews. But as it is, my kingdom is not here. So Pilate said to him, Then you are a king? Jesus answered, You say I am a king. For this I was born, and for this I came into the world, to testify to the truth. Everyone who belongs to the truth listens to my voice. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. I'd just like to to hang this uh, little reflection on the words, I am the Alpha and the Omega. Two Greek letters, the first letter and the last letter. But actually, that's also the same in Hebrew. It's called Aleph Tet, the first letter and the last letter of the alphabet. And that simply expresses nothing is going to change. I'm, I'm, I, it's, I'm in, I have everything together. And a good king has everything together. And the fact is that God is love. We have this revelation, and not just in the New Testament, because we have this wonderful hymn, psalm, uh, that everybody loves. I would say it's probably the most popular psalm in the Bible, The Lord is my shepherd. There is nothing I shall want. And this is what good government does in a family where the parents provide everything for the little children and where good organization happens in every business, in every association, in every community, no matter how big, up to the international community, where there shouldn't be hunger and injustice and violence because God is love and we are made in his image and that's the beginning of the world that when the Lord created the world it was very good and he didn't need to theology um, teaches us or even our catechism from the very small uh, little children we learned why did God create the world to show us his love and to give us love to give us a place to live so that we could reach him and live with him forever in happiness. This is the original plan. God is love. It speaks of love. The Garden of Eden speaks of love. And at the end, Christ triumphs. Love triumphs. We won. We're winning. As much as we fall and get all bloodied up in our wars, in our struggles, in our conflicts, in domestic violence, and street violence, and in international violence. Nevertheless, love is winning because of the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end, because at the end is God. All of our little kingdoms, our petty kingdoms, fall apart. All of our limitations are little by little overcome in our own persons. Look at what's happening in our own persons, what we used to get angry about, what we used to get upset about, what we used to worry about. What we used to desire, selfish things, selfishly, for selfish purpose, indifferent to others and their sufferings and the consequences of our decisions for their sufferings. That's their business. They need to put up with it. They need to face reality. So little by little, we're transformed into love. All of us. There's no human being that escapes this equation. And all of us human beings are between the Alpha and the Omega. We're in there wrapped in this love. As much as we cry and suffer and have pain and things go wrong. The Lord is king, he is robed in majesty. What do you understand by majesty? Imagine somebody with very majestic robes and beautiful property, a palace, beautiful vehicles, 
extraordinary adulation from lots of people around them, but they're a mean heart. Where is the majesty? And imagine somebody in great poverty and misery, and that person is all love. Think of Mother Teresa in the slums of Calcutta. Think of the firemen going into the Twin Towers. Think of parents bringing a little child to emergency. It's all love. It's all love. Majesty, robed in majesty is to be robed in love, to be robed in generosity, to be robed in kindness and forgiveness, like Jesus on the cross, no matter how badly we're treated, to have a heart of mercy and forgiveness and reconciliation. The Alpha and the Omega, robed in love, not just robed in love, but from the inside transformed. And we are being transformed by the Holy Spirit living in us to the fullness of the stature of Christ. What an extraordinary path we're on. We won. We're winning. No matter what the bad news is on the television and the, in the cell phone and the, all the different media outlets, we're winning. And we're on the winning side. This is to be part of God's kingdom, part of him reigning in our hearts. His original creation plan renewed through all the redemptive activity, culminating in glory forever in heaven. This is our way. This is our life. This is, and this is us. This is, we're winning. We're winning, people. This is the celebration we have today. This is really a celebration with Christ the King, what he did for us, how he emptied himself out in the kenosis, in the emptying, self-emptying. He didn't show his godliness in Bethlehem. In so many places, he showed his weakness, he showed his humanity that he took on, our humanity. Alpha and Omega, robed in majesty, forever in glory. Our vocation, our path, our growth, our development, our ambition, our only ambition. Thank you for joining us today. If you want to learn more about Magdala, follow us on YouTube and on Facebook.